It's Tuesday, April 29th, and on DP News today, walk over to the office if you want to run for office. And aren't you excited about the art show in the library? DP News starts now. <laughs> students interested in running for sophomore, junior, or senior class office, petitions are now available outside the activities office located in the main office building. Be sure to get your petitions signed and oaths filled out. There is a mandatory meeting for all candidates on Thursday in P2 at lunch, and all senior candidates, there is a meeting tomorrow in T3, so be prepared to go to lunch in T3 tomorrow for senior class officers. Prom tickets are on sale again today at lunch outside athletics. Remember, lines will be long next week, so if you don't want to waste your lunch standing in line, buy now. Today is the last day for the early bird special for after prom tickets at $15. And the earlier you buy, the more chances you have to win big because you get extra raffle tickets. Tomorrow the price goes up to $20, and at the door they will be $25. Blood drive is tomorrow, so if you want to... Earn some community service hours and help save a life. Go sign up on dpnews.org. Make sure you get your permission slip signed and turned in. Tomorrow will be too late, so sign up today. Anyone taking the stat or calculus assessment test for next year, there is a test date this Friday at 8 a.m. in the cafeteria. If you plan on taking one of these tests, make sure you get a ticket for Mr. Sofro when signing up, and don't forget to bring your K number. If you don't feel ready this week, don't fret. Another testing date is on May 16th. The art show is happening today at lunch in the library. Head over and see all the fantastic work and see what your friends have made. Awards will also be handed out to the artists for their artwork. Seniors, you must turn in your community service hours now if you want them to be included in the senior awards. Get your form completed today and turn it into the Career Center. While on the topic of community service, this summer you can earn your hours at the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club, Safety Town, Junior Lifeguards, and UCSB Science Camp. Also, an opportunity for a paid internship with Wilderness Youth Projects for seniors is available. To volunteer, there are several carnivals locally taking place and as well as counseling positions at a bike camp and the UCSB Family Vacation Center. Get over to the Career Center for these great summer opportunities. Speaking of summer, the Santa Barbara Education Foundation Summer Achievement Session is back. Students can enroll in classes like Health, Freshman Seminar, Econ, American Government, World History, Biology, French, Latin, Freehand Draw, and even Mixed Chorus to get ahead on the following school year and earn some credits. This summer sessions begin on June 16th through July 24th at San Marcos. Registration for classes are now open online at sbefoundation.org. There are only four more chances to see Mary Poppins, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. with a matinee on Saturday at 2. Tickets are available online at dpnews.org or at the box office. So make sure you go and see this magical show because it will have you pop in at your seat. When trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd To leave through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word A little spontaneity keeps conversation keen You need to find a way to say precisely what you mean Club's meeting today are Art Club, Math Club, Animal Shelter, Motocross, Association, Aquatic Mammal Discussion, Mountain Bike Club, ASA, Lakes of Love Club, Bike Club, Photography Club, Cool Cats, Ukulele Club, Economics Club, Unite the Light, 
Teen Club, Vitamin Angels, FCA, Vocal Music, and Girls for Change Club. A birthday shout out to freshman Caitlin Tyman. Happy birthday. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, DP. I'm Kira. And I'm Dallas. Here's Nate with the sports. Yesterday's boys tennis hosted a non-league match. Leading in singles, Patrick Corpus swept his three, losing only one game. Miles Baldwin swept his two, with Quinn Hensley and Mason Doc Dockerman taking sets six and seven. Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang improved their record to 41-1. Other sweepers include J Greg Staggerwald, Ankush Kamani, and Andrew Tufekian with other partners, Sanad Shabar, Dylan Zapata. A record overall, 15-2. Today our Chargers host Ventura in their final league match of the season. The track team headed to the county championships in Carpentria this past weekend. Our varsity girls came away league champions on the heels of the national leader in shot put and discus, Stematias Garvelas. Senior Addie Zarenner battled Adeline Alpata of San Marcos in two big races. Alpata won the 1600 meter and the Arizona bound Addie Zarenner won the 32. Tatiana Schluup of DP was also a convincing winner in her 800 meter race. Carmen Villarreal of Dos Pueblos won the pole vault meet in, with a record of 10 feet 3 inches. On the boys' side, John Dickinson was a double winner taking shot put and discus, and Tyler Bradford got through the traffic and the jostling in his 800 meter race and won. Well guys, that's all I have for you sports news. I'm Nathan. Be safe, have fun, and have a dandy day, DP.